questo le prime prove sono domani mattina alle 11 e lui è appena atterrato a Berlino Hello Yeah, yeah. 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 The recording has made you Le canti digitali d'amore sul ponte di Hiroshima I made you a 30 minute recording Maybe it'll be helpful, maybe it won't be, but I think it will because of the logic of it. I, I walk you through the intervals, give you the main line, and I illustrate everything else as a digression from that main line. Reasoning the same octave, now I have restudied it in this hour before we met, and so now it's even clearer for me. Amazing. Think it as this. I think it's going to help you. Big lines made of semitones, basically semitones, and that you also exchange with the soprano in the beginning, with okay. digressions concealed in different ways. Like, for example, in the beginning, she has... <laughs> and she's your appoggiatura to your do diesis. <laughs> your si bemolle is uh, the, the appoggiatura to her la, so the phrase is... <laughs> All close together, it's really all semitone. So what she really has is la, so, la, do. never mind if she sings la, so, la, do. you don't you don't care about that because that will destabilize your throat immensely. No, you have to stay still in one place. Yeah. So because that's not yeah. what Nono thought when he wrote it. La, so, la, do. And your C sharp is Correct. Mm -hmm. Just just free, just fall asleep in your mouth. Be very focused, not moving anything and because you have a lot to uh, to focus on pitch wise and rhythm wise, so you have zero time to care about anything in the world. E, C, un, e, so you have e, C and then you have that C sharp goes to the natural. Mm -hmm. Exactly, because it is reasoned exactly in this way, and I think yeah. that after a minute of you know ambientation, you'll it'll make things so much simpler for you. Okay, yeah. Yeah. and yeah. then yeah. she yeah. she goes uh, her last word before you come in again is abituale, and she goes yeah. abituale on that long a ah of abituale is your note. Oh. Abituale. Exactly. Okay. Yeah. Double M, double M. So I'll give you her abituale. Abituale. Exactly. So keep it there, keep it low, keep it non-pitched, keep it as soft as you can, you, you don't have to move ever. Mammonito. This is a palindrome. Okay, Mammonito. Exactly. Exactly. Super pentatonic feeling. Yeah. yeah. Sara un un. You have to go from D to C sharp and from D to E flat. Sara Okay. You have everything yeah. from D, E flat, E natural, F. Re, mi, cha, fa, and then sol, and then also do. So the notes you have are re, do, re, mi, mi, fa, sol. You have all of the notes. Sol, do, re, sol, re, do, re, mi, re, sol, re, do, re, mi.
second was right. Because on a chord, the notes are mi, fa, la, si, do, mi, fa, la, si, do, mi, fa, la, si, do, and then you have mi, fa, la, si, do, re, la, re, mi, fa, la, si, do, mi, fa, la, si, do, mi, fa, la, si, do, re, la, re, sa, pri, ra, no, le, sa, de. And then I can put the shadow of a right, right? The diction is still top notch. I'm not giving you diction notes because the diction is still excellent. It's been planted for yeah. seven years. Yeah. Yeah. When things are well done, they stay. I mean, it's an investment. Think that the initial E flat of sa priranno is a big appoggiatura of the e, of the e natural of sul colle. Mi. So to make you go from same note to you have two semitones. Correct. You understand that it's as if he was playing on one very small pentatonic scale but benefiting of all the overtones as if you were a violin and some of the notes instead of playing the real note you have the, the symbol of the overtone on top of the note and so you were playing the overtone but as an overtone so not sung as a real note so when you see those huge slaps up or down they are like for a violin having the real note but with the overtone symbol to exactly it's fine as long as you understand you have the recording tomorrow it will come out i promise but don't don't force your voice try to understand the logic Repeat, repeat once, da, 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 ten times, it'll come out. Sol, fa, big interval of semitone. Sol, non, ra, non, ra, no, do, re, fa. It's a sol, fa, with a do, re in the middle. No, mu, de, ra, no, mu, de, ra. Do you think as a do, re, with, as a semitone? Do, Digression around the trident, but what he wants is F, F sharp, and then the resolution on the D major. Yeah. So, but you have The feeling of the firma to a major chord. Let's go again and no mutera. No mutera. You know it, okay? 
So <laughs> teach it to your thought first. Uh, overtones. You see what I'm saying, right? Yeah, absolutely. That's a very brilliant piece of advice. To think that the leaps are overtones, that's going to help me so much in yeah, the Yeah, of course. I mean, you yeah. cannot slap your voice around intervals of 14th or 15th or, or more. I mean, it, it makes no sense. That's not what he wanted. They are really meant like overtones. They are very, very light. The diction is stable as if you were singing Monteverdi. <laughs> Yeah, I even doubt it because it seems like so easy. So easy. That's the point. That's the point. <laughs> you change the chord from major to minor. Ah, it's easy to see. Hmm? That's a beautiful color too to add. And do you think I should do it? Like, how much vocal cues uh, would you say? I would really do the R. Yeah. Technically, he writes the vocal cues are from the last D where the Ma is written. It, so, I yeah. would do... I think that's more elegant, because otherwise you're trying to... No, it's re sol. This, this interval of fourth on the re sol. Sarà canterò, no saprò. Di canterò, no. Same phrase with an appoggiatura of the low do diesi. Then that that do diesis appoggia the do naturale di quella. Okay, and the sol appoggia the F sharp. So, re, sol, fa, sol, fa, sol, do, re, sol, fa, do, sa, pre, la, quella, sa. Appoggiatura of the fifth, but it's still a triton. Di nuovo. Correct. Again, back to the G. Basically, you are in sort of a, a G major. And you're back to the G. Rolls around this G. Exactly. So, canterà. And then, appoggiatura. And then you keep whirling around the G with the same A flat F sharp. With that G in mind. Big sun shining, yeah. much higher than you think. Okay, so whirling around the G, but with the G sharp in mind as the arrival. The hardest parts are the twelve tone music ones, but yeah. you, if you know twelve tone music, you can still help yourself with this logic of retrogrades and uh, uh, inverted intervals and so on. <laughs> that it's all a palindrome <gasps> it's entirely a palindrome if you begin from the G of voce okay so you, you have to go backwards from two points from the G of voce to the G of scale yeah. 
ok, to the G of scale and with one finger you go forward with the other finger you go backwards so you have G <laughs> Si bemolle and if you go backwards from scale you have G Si be high Si bemolle and then you have Si bemolle A high A Si bemolle A high A are you, are you following what I'm doing? and then yeah. you have A C A C C B C B B E B E E C sharp E C sharp C sharp G C sharp G G A flat G A flat A flat B flat A flat well F but anyway it's it's a it's a perfect palindrome that phrase from from the G of voce to the G of scale if you go forward from voce and if you go backwards from scale it's the exact freaking same intervals that meet at the at the mm -hmm. central uh, uh, F of scale. scale. Exactly. <laughs> so that's the key to study this phrase. It's the freaking same mm -hmm. phrase. It's yeah. a perfect retrograde. It's a perfect palindrome, the whole phrase. Keep it down at, uh, to a level of uh, playing crystals with your fingers. Yeah. Till it's yeah, all yeah. equal. To, it has to feel really all equal. Very static in a way. Very fermo. Okay. Yeah. okay. Ferma e chiara. Okay. This aria ferma. Yeah. Sarai tu ferma e chiara. No, this fermo. He uses it, and it's also the the cantus firmus of the the Gregorian music. Okay. And it's yeah. all cantus firmus. So it's the it's the solemnity and the mm -hmm. the, the, the the eternal. Staticity, staticness, I don't know, I'm making up words. Sacred music, Gregorian music. Firma e chiara. The main hymn is hidden in all these, uh, you know, extravaganzas and uh, techniques that, and encodings, I would say. But it's still the same cantus firmus. Final phrase. comes back again so it's all in between this big interval of fourth which is typical of the of the Gregorian as well and of the pentatonics and of all the you know ancient uh, slash modern jazzy scales if I analyzed it it would all reduce to to this big interval and sending you the recording just without even mm -hmm. minding it just just blah, 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 fall asleep on it but mm -hmm. if you go there tomorrow with interval that makes sense to you. They have to make sense because if they make sense to you in 48 hours, they'll be. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. But I think you should be fine. Absolutely. Absolutely. I, I'm, I'm excited. <laughs> yeah. Total gratitude. Like, totally. I, d I don't have words right now. We'll just, talk just later. Shame. We'll talk I later. I'll write you later. Uh, Soon. Ciao.